Hey everyone, I'm here in Alpharetta, Georgia, and we're going to look at a roadside attraction that's called the Kegel Castle. It's located on Kegel Road in Alpharetta. It's also called the Dwarf Castle. Um, it's this miniature castle that someone lives in that was built in the 1950s on a trucker's salary. So follow me, we're going to go over here and take a look at it. It is a private residence, and people do live here, so can't go in it um, or going to get see how close we can get to the castle so follow me all right and here's the castle now we're right off the highway and it's pretty loud so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history before I walk up to the front um, so this castle was built by Rudy McLaughlin in the 1950s he had promised his princess Ruth a castle and that's what he gave her I assume that Ruth was his wife, possibly daughter, but Rudy had purchased this, or had had this built on a truck driver's salary in the 50s. Uh, definitely not able to do that today uh, in Alpharetta, Georgia, because the cost of living is so expensive. Um, so, Princess got her castle. It features turrets, a moat that's a continuation of a swimming pool. There's three drawbridges that you see right here in the back. Uh, a lot of people claim that most of the living space is actually underground. So what we're seeing here is about 14 to 1500 square feet and it sits on a 2.11 acre lot. Uh, in total, it's about two bedrooms and two baths. Uh, there's an expansive swimming pool in the back and you see the pool house and a large garage now this house today would go for quite a bit of money i'll try to pull up on realtor.com or uh, another real estate website to see how much it would be but two acres in alpharetta georgia this close to uh, atlanta goes for quite a bit of money in itself so let's go around to the front and take a look. Now this is a private residence and people do live here. So we're gonna stay off the driveway because that is part of their property. But you see the front gate right here. We're getting closer to the highway. There's a few dwarfs. They do call this a dwarf castle as well. Um, my assumption was because it was a small castle, but with all the dwarves around the area, that's why I assume they call it the Dwarf Castle. So, this thing is awesome looking. Now, like I said, we're right on the highway, so there's a car that's going right past me. Right there, you see the where the moat starts on two ends of the front door and it serves as a swimming pool as well. Pretty awesome. Looks like it's well built too. I like the driveway how it just goes straight through don't really have to worry about putting in a turnaround and there's a fountain up front right here you can see it right through the main area very cool let's continue on Now, it does look like there's no, no one home, but there's a massive garage in the, in the back, and there's most likely someone home, and this place is uh, monitored by video camera. You see the two dwarves up front right here. Very cool. 
here in Alpharetta, Georgia on Cagle Road. Some know this as the Cagle Castle.